Hello OwnClouders and welcome to your personal guided tour of OwnCloud 9. The newest OwnCloud release is full of improvements and new features. Let's start on the main files page. This is the default landing for the web interface. And as always, we are working hard to give you tools to manage your files. So here's our file filters in the left sidebar where you can sort by your favorites, shared with you, shared with others, shared by link, making it easy to quickly find your different files and folders by these criteria. And there's a new filter, the tags filter. In OwnCloud 9, you can now assign arbitrary tags to your files and folders, whatever you want to, whatever criteria you want, and then use the tag filter to sort your files by your tags so you can quickly find things. The tags themselves are created elsewhere, which we will get to in a few minutes. And then there's your external storage filter to quickly find your external storage mounts. Deleted files you don't need to do a thing to this except go in there and restore files that you have accidentally deleted. OwnCloud manages this for you. It ages out the oldest ones and so you never run the risk of blowing your quota. You can't have too many deleted files because OwnCloud won't let you. Down here is your WebDAV URL if you want to access your OwnCloud server via WebDAV. This gives you the exact URL to use. Back on the main files page, you can sort your files by three different ways, alphabetically by the name, frontwards or backwards, same thing for size, from small to large or large to small, and by the modified time, files most recently modified or oldest files. And up at the top, here's uh, another file management menu. You can create a new folder up here. Name it anything you want. Now let's go into this folder. It's empty. So right here inside OwnCloud, we can create a new text file and even put some content into it. You don't have to worry about saving this file. OwnCloud will auto-save it for you. And of course, you'll probably want to upload files. You can upload multiples by using Control-Click or Shift-Click. And there they are. The little Home button, that takes you back to the main files page. Up in the search bar, you can quickly find files by their names or their file extensions. You can have your own personal avatar, your personal menu there, that takes you to your personal page, a help page, or log out. On your personal page, you manage your profile picture. You may, um, your full name can be anything. You can change that anytime. It's different from your login name, which is unique and you can't change. Um, you can manage your email here, see what groups you're in, manage your password. There's the settings for your activity stream. External storage here, you can create your own personal mounts. Your federated cloud ID, so you can tell your friends on other own cloud servers how to create federated shares with you. You can import SSL root certificates, and this is especially useful for example, in a private business or on a personal server where you have self-signed certificates. Well, web browsers these days, they complain about self-signed certificates and they're scary and they try to make you think they're not safe. So you can stop their complaining by importing the certificate. And up here we can go to our activity menu. The activity page is a, really it's just a log of all your activities. So 
if you forget something, then go in here and you can probably help remember what you did. And on the left sidebar there are filters, so you can quickly look for specific kinds of activities, things that you've done, things that other people have done, um, comments, shares, it's very quick. And on the top right, that's the button to open your image gallery. The image gallery has been completely rewritten and it's really nice now. So on your main files page, when you open the gallery, it automatically displays all the images in your account. And you can share them from here. Um, it shows you which folders all the different images are in. If you're in a subfolder, then the gallery button will only open the images for that folder. Of course, you can see the image is full size. You can navigate through them. Down at the bottom right, there's a slideshow button. So you just click that and sit back and watch the show. And to stop the slideshow, you just click the button again or just exit out of the screen. Own Cloud 9 also includes a video player, so you can watch your movies in Own Cloud. You get full sound and video. This movie is Dragon's Dream. You can just do a quick search for that and watch the whole thing at your leisure. Home Cloud 9 also includes a PDF viewer and it's pretty nice. Of course it has zoom, big and small. On the left side there, you can open up either Outline View or Table of Contents. It has the usual navigation buttons, and you can type in the page number of any specific page that you want to jump to. You can open more PDFs from inside the viewer and you can print and download them. Now the little three dot menu, that's called the overflow menu, that contains many your, your main file management tools. This opens the um, sidebar on the right and this is where you manage your tags. Now these tags are system tags. Every tag that every user on your, on your server creates is visible to everyone on the server. And you create multiple tags by pressing enter between each one or the return key. And these tags are completely arbitrary. They can be phrases, they can be sentences, they can be words, they can be numbers, they can be anything you want. Another new feature in OwnCloud 9 is comments. This is very useful when you're collaborating, obviously, or maybe just to blow off steam when you're working with your co-workers on a difficult task. But this is a wonderful collaboration tool because it puts everything right there in your interface where you can see it. You don't have to go hunting them down. On your main files page, there's a little notifier that tells you which files and folders have comments on them. And if you hover over the notifier, it will tell you if there are any new comments. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy using OwnCloud 9. Thank you for being an OwnCloud user. And you'll find more information and user, developer, and administration manuals at owncloud.org.